everybody, we are back here on the dunes in Winchester Bay. Um, I'm joined with Matt from UTV Obsessions and he's got a pretty sweet Razor uh, build. Uh, a lot like our car, but a way better than our car. So uh, let's check it out. Got a mask, got a mask. Who was that? Who was that? Living legend, living legend. Meet the weapon. Mess of mine, mess of mine. Never tried, never tried. Tell them on, tell them on. Big dreams, I got big dreams since like baby. I've been joining forces with the likes of an A team. Jumping off of buildings used to be so stimulating. Now I'm reaching new heights. I'ma need the off white. So this Razor started out as a 2016 XP Turbo, and uh, I thought that I was gonna keep it in stock, and that didn't work out too well. Uh, started with some tuning, and just kind of snowballed into that. Um, after our first wreck, it came back looking a little bit better, um, and then uh, we ended up going to UTV Takeover in 2019, I think it was, and cartwheeled the car pretty well. Uh, it was kind of wadded up in a little ball, so we ended up having to swap the frame, and uh, you know, it's always been kind of the beater car that I was hard on, not afraid to wreck. Um, but this year we kind of revamped everything, gave it a little facelift to uh, be in our booth at the shows here and made it look a little bit more presentable. We've got a 2019 and newer Turbo S front fascia on it with a hood adapter that we sell for the front fascia from Razor Parts. And then we have a Madigan front grill on it that's color matched with all of our other powder coating. We have a local guy in town that powder coats most of our stuff. His name is uh, Rory Darpino, Darpino Coatings. He did the whole, all the powder coating on this build. And then we had the car wrapped from Wrap It Up Graphics and Grants Pass, um, all white with our logos on it. A little dune gear, LED lighting up in the grill. And then we also have their fender washers on it too to kind of accent the colors and everything and bring them through the whole thing. Looking at the front suspension, we've got an ORB long travel kit on this since it started life as a 64 inch car. It's equipped with color ball joints and then we sent the shocks down to MTS suspension. They revalved and rebuilt and, and sprung the shocks accordingly for the long travel. Um, the ORB kit includes billet tie rods and then we also have a billet front differential from Super ATV with all the Sandcraft goodies inside of it. And then over to the wheels, we uh, got hooked up with Hostel. We sell a lot of their wheels at the shop. We have the new HF14 forged polished wheels on this. And then we also have them um, have some Packard lug nuts on there. Um, real lightweight design. Rogue sand tires, 32 inch with a tall paddle, 14 in the rear. And then we also have some ATC lighting on the car. Uh, we've got their race pods up front with the amber lens that help a lot with the shadows and everything else when we're night riding out here in the dunes. We also have their 33 inch light bar on the top and a chase bar in the rear. So for the doors on the car, we have the PRP doors that we sell mainly at the shop. They're super easy install and, and uh, pretty clean. Nice big surface area to put our name on. And then the cage, uh, Buddy and I built it. This is one of the first modifications I ever did to the car. Polaris only rates the cage at 25 miles an hour and after the first ride, we realized that we were not doing 25 miles an hour very often. Um, this is actually the same cage that survived the wreck at UTV Takeover. We did have to rebuild the roof because it was pushed in except from where my head was. Uh, we did lower the seats down a little bit after the wreck so I have a little more distance between my head and the cage or the roof. And, uh, and then back here in the back on the intake covers, um, this is something that we build. We have a local shop kind of cut them out for us, our UTV Obsessions vent covers, just to kind of add a little bit of color to the car and protect that frog skin from getting ripped. So in the back back here, we just got a Tusk rear bumper on it. Uh, one of the funnest things that I, that I do in this car is wheelies, and so we added a skid plate to the back bumper. This has touched the sand a few times. Uh, that's kind of the goal. It skids a little bit when it touches instead of just bars pushing into the sand. So for the rear suspension, we have obviously the ORB long travel kit. They're tubular trailing arms, and it also comes with billet sway bar end links. And uh, we also have some Sandcraft limit straps on this to help with the MTS suspension as it's got a little bit more travel now to limit that down. Um, and then we've got the ORB rear radius rods, they're billet. Uh, they come with the whole long travel kit that we put on the car. Um, along with some Rhino 2.0 axles that we sell as well. Some of the performance modifications that we've done to this thing, uh, we work pretty tight with Trio Performance. Uh, so we have pretty much everything that they make for the car. So we have their full three inch turbo back stainless exhaust with the single tip muffler. And then we have the, uh, their new charge tube, their new aluminum charge tube with a turbo smart blow off valve. 
as well as their new intake that eliminates the factory air box that gets real hot. Then moving into the motor, it's a DNM stage three motor with a Brian Crower billet crank. Um, it's got all the TPR goodies that you can do, chain tensioner, billet valve cover, full flow water kit. We have their uh, crankcase breather on it. Um, and then it has also a modified Pro XP Turbo from Pure Turbos um, and uh, the MSD coil packs as well. Tuning is done from Whalen Speed. Uh, the car runs on E85. It has Injector Dynamics 1300cc injectors. Um, and it also has a Billet Garrett intercooler from, uh, from Brian Crower as well. So for clutching on this, we went with the STM Power Sports Rage 4 WCP primary clutch. Uh, forearm and the secondary we have a secondary tuner from STM with a torsional spring with seven different points of adjustment uh, We've been working on the clutching on this. We're, we've just about got it dialed in uh, Once the clutching's dialed it should make anywhere between 260 and 300 to the tire uh, We'll get it on the dyno once we're ready to see a number on it, but for now we're still kind of dialing it in uh, Since we ride this a lot in the dunes we have a set of starlight lighted whips on it um, on some Axia billet mounts We've also got all these beautiful parts from TPR and Run BC that we wanted to kind of show off. Um, so we ended up getting rid of the bed on this car um, just to kind of show more of the motor and show more what we sell from Trail Performance and, and all those good companies that we get parts from. So inside the car, we've got a set of the Amps off-road seats and some PRP harnesses and door bags. We've got an Assault steering wheel with some custom powder coat. We've got our launch control set up from Whalen Speed Tuning as well with a kind of a custom button that we built at the shop here and then uh, a radio push to talk button here for for when I put some radios in this thing. Uh, we've got a deviant dyno jet mount on the steering column as well as a shift handle. Obviously we have to have some tunes so we've got a Rockford Fosgate stage 5 stereo and for when we're wearing helmets out there we have the rugged pumper. We're excited to get out and use this thing in the dunes. We've really tried to build this thing to be a really reliable duner that basically if anybody drove it, they would come back and want the same thing done to their car. Um, we want the ultimate machine where we can kind of go to the drag strip and compete, still be able to come out and dune and be reliable and uh, go jump, do wheelies, whatever we want to do and still be able to putt and have fun as a, as a usual car. All the parts that we've installed in this car and used to build the car, we sell at our shop, UTV Obsessions, or online at utvobsessions.com. Make sure you go check us out on Instagram, utv.obsessions, and uh, hopefully we'll be on YouTube and all that soon too. Thanks for watching.